so for me uh, i had a in- internship at amazon so they paid almost uh, $6500 per month so for about 2.5 months it was it came down to 16000 17000 plus they also gave the stipend of uh, i believe it's uh, it's as a stipend fixed stipend of 2500 or something like that or 3500 which which like it was total uh, was uh, coming around 20000 dollars and uh, after you know uh, taking care of all the cost there in the seattle uh, i was left with 13000 dollars 12 to 13000 dollars of which i paid my you know uh, third year third semester uh, fee and after working uh, as a ta as a, like i had to pay off 25 dollars per hour and i used to work 20 20 hours for third in, in the third semester so i used to take i took care of the last semester fee Internships are 40 hours for 10 weeks, okay, whereas the internship I'm talking from August, August uh, sorry, May to August, that is 3 months, 10 weeks, uh, 40 hours each, whereas intern, I'm talking the second internship is August till December or maybe Jan, so that will be 6, uh, 4, 4 to 5 months and that will be 20 weeks and you have to work half of that like you are not allowed to do work 40 hours so you have to work half of that that is 20 hours so you have to manage both your uh, uh, college as well as your internship yeah in cpd you can uh, you can get it anytime in the first year uh, but yeah it's really hard to get it after your first year but once your plan of something that is has to be submitted plan of uh, i20 has to be submitted to the advisor it's really hard to uh, put in that cpt credit it, uh, it depends on how well you give your internship uh, interviews and uh, you have to be just you know uh, answer whatever questions that are thrown at you and uh, Sometimes companies do look for freshers because they come, they can train them quite easily compared to, you know, they'll be having, they'll, they'll be having no past experience and no prior bias of some, some technologies. So let's say a, com- a person who's coming from two, two or three years of experience, he'll be having a kind of a touch, uh, loss of touch on learning anything, you know, right away new. Okay. So. I think company do prefer freshers and there are a lot of freshers at Amazon at any company like you can talk of. If you are giving a good interview, you are good to go. You will be selected. Uh, usually the internship price in Arizona is $25 to $40 dollars per hour and uh, I have heard people getting $45, $50, $60 dollars as, uh, as well. Learn whatever languages that are, you know, you have time right now. So, learn whatever languages that you can here from here itself. So, let's say Java, uh, if you're going for machine learning, then Python and uh, R programming, or you know, uh, what was the yeah, SQL and all those basic things that you can learn of. If you're going for computer engineering, learn C. So, all those things, learn all those things from right from scratch zero and Look out for you know questions or algorithms, data such as algorithms, because only those things are asked in the company in the in the US for interviews. So they'll not they'll not be just they'll just be asking you different uh, concepts just to start with, and then they'll be asking directly, okay, do you know this data structure? Tell me about it, and uh, they'll be throwing and uh, throwing a question uh, based on it, and you have to code it on your screen. There will be a collab edit or something or screen share something you have to basically code it in front of them or if they are in front of you then they'll ask you to code it on the whiteboard so uh, i would suggest not only le- uh, learn java and something but try to do it hands-on you know like try to solve all those questions hands-on make projects make uh, solve it from lead code geek for geeks top questions that are asked at amazon microsoft because it won't come so easily you know <laughs>